lady near here felt the need to point me out for not wearing a mask. This man interceded too. Now he's getting encroaching in my space. Can you put the phone away? Please? No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Ma'am, would you stay six feet back? Yeah, you would don't you, have a mask on. You, you don't stay, film my mother. Would you stay six feet what back, ma'am? What about privacy? Would what about you stay privacy? Six feet back, you don't have a mask on. You're don't film my mother. You're infringing on my space, ma'am. You're infringing on my mother's privacy. You're infringing on my space, ma'am. You're infringing on my mother's ma privacy. Ma'am, I feel there is a medical exemption mean nothing. But what do you mean by in terms of mean something? Well, what am I allowed under a medical exemption? I don't know. So you're going to charge me with trespassing? I'm not going to charge you with trespassing. You're outside of the facility. But I was forced out under some mandate where you're saying now that I was allowed to be forced out because I'm not wearing a mask. David Menzies for Rebel News here at Bond Lake Arena in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Well, you know what, folks? A hockey game took place here, and Jim Gaston, he had his son uh, playing hockey here, and a brouhaha broke out, but it wasn't on the ice. Just wait till you hear this unbelievable story. So, Jim, as I said in the preamble, uh, you brought your son here to play hockey, uh, and you encountered somebody who took exception to the fact that you weren't wearing a mask, even though you've been doing this all season long, you told me off camera. And then what happened? Well, they, I guess they took uh, umbrance, I'd say, with uh, the fact that I wanted to document what was going on. And then uh, it just broke out in a feeding frenzy of the parents, uh, just kind of getting in my face and attacking me. I was threatened to have my teeth punched out. Uh, I was told that uh, I was going to get effed up uh, and uh, challenged to go outside. And what made it terrible was that the, the, the father's son was bouncing around saying, you're going to get it now. And wow. like, you know, these parents may think they're doing something great and, you know, but they're, what are they teaching their kids just to be bullies? That is unbelievable. And before we go on, because you've said a lot there that I want to address, Jim, um, here's the video evidence, folks, of the COVID Karen in action. And you know you're dealing with a super COVID Karen when she's wearing two, count them, two face masks. This lady near here felt the need to point me out for not wearing a mask. This man interceded too. Now he's getting encroaching in my space. Can you put the phone away? Please? No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Ma'am, would you stay six feet back? Yeah, you would don't you, have a mask on. You, you don't stay, film my would mother. Would you stay six feet what back, ma'am? What about privacy? Would what you about stay privacy? Six feet back, you don't have a mask on. You're don't film my mother. You're infringing on my space, ma'am. You're infringing on my mother's privacy. You're infringing on my space, ma'am. You're infringing on my mother's privacy. Ma'am, I feel danger. Then leave. I feel danger, ma'am. Then leave. You're don't threatening film me. my mother. You You're can't start filming my mother. Get out. You're threatening me. No, I'm not. You're threatening me, ma'am. No, I'm not. You're Maybe I should me. film you, too. You're impeding me, ma'am. Yeah, without your mask on, filming my mother that's for what? Not, that's not against the law, ma'am. Really? Privacy. Privacy. I've had 15 operations, ma'am. Are you that's infringing great. on so my medical rights? So stop filming my here? mother. Privacy. Hello? She's raised the issue. I'm just gathering evidence. Right. Evidence of what? Evidence of what? Well, in case the police do show up, I want to know who instigated the complaint. You should probably leave, man. Cops are coming. I don't care, man. I don't care. You're filming my mother, and you're uh, that's invading her privacy. I'm protecting my rights, man. Of what? My rights of rights of what? You don't know my medical history, ma'am. It doesn't matter. I, you know what? If I had a camera, I could have filmed you and the person that was taking a picture of you with your mask down. Now you want to center I me out for not wearing a mask? Picture. She can show you the pictures. I'm wearing my mask. That at that time. You guys are such hypocrites. Do you have it's a medical okay exemption? It's okay to pull your mask down for a coffee. Do you have a, a medical exemption? None of your business, ma'am. Unless you have a medical exemption, none of your you need business, to have a mask on and not film us. It's none of your business. Really? You're in a public space, ma'am. I know I am. Thank you for receding. Learn the no, law. It's not. Learn the law, ma'am. Learn the law. Where's your medical exemption? Put a mask on. None You're of your business, ma'am. Learn space. the law. You're invading mine. No, you invaded mine, and I got it on camera. Do you see that everyone in this place has a mask on? If you have a medical exemption, great. But if you don't, put it on. What right do you what mother. right do you have to ask me for a medical exemption? What right do you have to be filming my mother? It's a public space. That doesn't mean you can flash your camera. Would you stand like, yeah. back? You're getting within six feet again. Really? You're the one who 
the You're the one dangerous. Me. You're the you're one the that's one worried about the danger, ma'am. Dangerous. Ma I'm so dangerous. No, you think you're I'm dangerous. I'm Look, you got your double mask on. You're the one that's in fear. I'm not in fear. I want to be a hockey mom because I support my kid, but I want to wear a medical mask. How many vaccinations have you got? Not your business. Oh, but you not want to know business. my medical business. You have to be vaccinated to get in the building, so I guess I am. What about you? You have to wear a mask. Where's your medical exemption? So there she is, um, you know, upset with you. Uh, I don't know what she has to worry about. You know, it's funny, Jim, in regard to the mask, as we speak today, Saskatchewan is withdrawing its mask mandate. Ontario, it's only a matter of a few weeks unless Doug Ford does one of his incredible flip-flops and reverses uh, the, the mask banishment. But you weren't hurting anyone. Uh, if she's wearing two masks and uh, socially distancing, I don't understand why it is that she had to come down on you and demand you put on one of those face diapers. Uh, you know, the, the government has just empowered these people to think that they can just act like animals, really. Mm. Act like animals because they just don't agree with somebody else's view. They don't care what my medical situation, they didn't bother to ask. And it's funny because she's worried about my status, my medical status, but I point, asked her point blank, do you have your vaccine? And she says, no, it's none of your business what I have. <laughs> that is incredible. Suddenly, it, <laughs> it's none of That's, your business, yeah. but you not masking is plenty of her business. Yeah. Jim, you said other people joined the fracas, but it wasn't to come to your defense. They were making death threats, saying you're going, they're going to knock your teeth out. And when you speak of your medical issues, you were a, a, a firefighter. You have a spinal cord injury. Yeah, if you could just point to my legs, like they shake now yeah. because I'm cold. But uh, one of them gleefully pointed out, oh, look at his legs are shaking. He's scared. So like, uh, they, no, were they were mocking you. They were mocking me. your disability. They were mocking my disability. They, I'm sure they didn't know I had a disability. They didn't care. They just had their tunnel vision that they get from the mainstream media that I'm some plague carrier. And that, in their mind, justifies a mob attack. That's all it was. That's all it was. They knocked the phone out of my hand. They jumped up and down on my phone. They threatened to beat the shit out of me outside. One man got face to face and threatened to knock my teeth out. Um, and and, and aside, uh, first of all, utterance of threats, you know, physical threats, death threats, that's against the law. But certainly knocking your phone out of your hands, Jim, and stomping on it, that's A, assault, and B, vandalism or intent to cause vandalism. The cops are called, and when they get here, uh, what happens? Well, they separate me and uh, tell me that I can't go back in decide, besides my protestations and asking if I was under arrest, and they told me, no, I'm not under arrest, I haven't done anything wrong. And then I thought about it afterwards, after they left, and it's like, they went in and they looked at the, at the, at the recordings. I told them that I was... This is, and Jim, just to be uh, clear here, you didn't capture it on your phone, but no. the surveillance camera of Bond Lake Arena, they caught it, and they yes. looked at it, and what did they say about that? Uh, they said that, yeah, I did nothing wrong, that, uh, yeah, I had been uh, assaulted and everything. But, yeah, I didn't see them bring anybody out, the person that assaulted me. Uh, they just wanted to guarantee that I didn't go back in the uh, arena. They gave me, wouldn't give me any justification. They wouldn't give me a written letter with anybody's name on it, uh, expressing why I wasn't allowed back in there. But yet, obviously, I was assaulted. I was threatened with bodily harm, and I didn't see the police talk to anybody. Okay, does a medical exemption mean nothing? But what do you mean by in terms of mean something? Well, what am I allowed under a medical exemption? I don't know. So you're going to charge me with trespassing? I'm not going to charge you with trespassing. You're outside of the facility but I was forced out under some mandate where you're saying now that I was allowed to be forced out because I'm not wearing a mask. You, okay, did you leave? I left voluntarily. So you weren't forced out? Okay, so I can go back in? So if they don't want you inside, which I believe my partner has said they do not want you online, you cannot go back in. Okay, can you go in there and ask them to put that in writing, please? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be in writing. Okay, so I have to go back in there and be charged with trespassing to take this further? No. 
I want to know why I'm uh, thrown out of that building. I've already told On what you. grounds what? am I asked not to go into uh, that building? Can you get management to come out, please? Can you get a management to come out, please? I'd like. What, to... what does management have Sir, to do? I've well, because they're the ones who's asking me not to come back in, and my battery's running low. Sir, I've spoken to management. No, they can, don't want you in the building. can you ask management to come out here? I have a right to discuss this with management, don't, don't I? They don't have to come back out. They don't. Have, so they just throw me out of the building with no recourse, and you guys are going to enforce it. Concerning and that. What I don't get, Jim, is that they escort you out of the ring. No, I left. Uh, oh, you left. I okay, left. but they told you if you come back you're going to be charged with trespassing, yet the person that did the vandalism, the assault to you, he got to watch the hockey game. I would imagine. I didn't see them interact with those people. Uh -huh. The cop cars were sitting right there out in front, and I was over there sitting in my truck, and they come out and drove away. They just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to go back in. You know, I, 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 I have no words. In, in yeah, fact, folks... <laughs> And folks, I did reach out to York Regional Police, their media communications department. I'm still waiting to hear back, if I hear back, uh, because this is egregious. I'm going to also do what I can uh, to try and get that surveillance uh, video. So, uh, Jim, certainly I think there was a crime that was committed here yesterday, but you weren't the criminal. You were the victim, but you're being like treated him. like the Yeah, you're treated like the criminal. Yes, Yes, and that's what's wrong with this country. The, the police are not upholding the laws in this land. They're upholding make-believe laws. But when you're assaulted and it's caught on camera and those people are allowed to just carry on with their day while I'm ostracized and embarrassed, and I must apologize to my son. He's very embarrassed over this incident. But I've explained to him that sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe it is right in this world and you can't back down to bullies and, and jim uh next sunday or next weekend i guess there'll be another hockey game hockey season is still on do you come back here because i don't understand the um you know the perimeters of the police saying you will be charged with vandalism is that for just uh, that one day or charged for sorry um trespassing yes. is that for just that one day or is it for the hockey season or is it forever well i haven't been issued with any paperwork uh as far as i'm concerned i didn't want to press the issue because they were going to up the charges if i continued to go past the police they stood in front of me here when i got out of my truck and said i'm going to press this issue because you're not giving me any information. You're not giving me any valid reason why I shouldn't be allowed to go back in there. You tell me I'm not under arrest. You can't charge me with anything other than the fact that you're going to charge me with trespassing if I go back in there. So I said, well, I'm going to make an issue out of this. You're going to have to charge me with trespassing because I'm going to take this further. Oh, well, then let's go back in because you're, you're, you're going to charge me with trespassing because I, don't, I think you have to identify the people that are, have evicted me from this building. I think you have to identify the people that have... Okay, so listen. I'm going to go back in, you're going to be arrested, okay. unfortunately, sir. Uh, we I, do not... Uh, Jim, we do not want to arrest you. I don't want to be arrested. Okay, so but then I let's, don't want let's to be bullied this, either. Let's solve this like men, okay? We are men. So... Men don't throw do men out of go, buildings. You do not need to go in there. No, I think I do because I have to prove a point. Okay, this shit can't go on. You're, you're I'm double vaccinated. Voices. I have natural immunity from catching the disease. Okay, so Jim, as it stands right now in the province of Ontario, okay, they still require you to wear a mask inside. Until well, that, until that. that is lifted. I have 15 operations and uh, medical until... documentation, doc, documentation that says I'm a severely injured man. I could give you stacks of paperwork okay, if you... and I'm being thrown out of a building because of that. I can't argue that. And you know, folks, uh, to me, this is a despicable story. This is a victim being re-victimized. When Jim had a career, he was a firefighter, literally putting his life on the line. Remember frontline heroes? And suddenly you treat this gentleman as a frontline zero. It is absolutely disgraceful. And we're going to follow up on this story and find out if there's any justice forthcoming in the future. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Can you imagine what's happened to our once great dominion? Mandatory vaccine passports, get the jabs or lose your jobs, and not even get employment insurance. We think that's wrong. We're fighting back, 
in the court and amassing signatures on a petition. Please go to fightvaccinepassports.com. That's fightvaccinepassports.com. Sign the the petition, and if you're in a position where you can give a contribution, please do so.